Hi everyone, it's Scott here with an update on the Crimson Files. If you haven't had a chance to visit the website and see some of the announcements that have come out in recent days, I'll just give you a couple of them here. First off, there will be a new voice this season for the Crimson Crane. I know that the last update I mentioned that everyone was back, and that was originally the case. But, you know, sometimes there's just a lot of things going on outside of podcasting, including schedules and any number of other things that make it very, very challenging. And Stephanie and I worked really hard to try to sync something up as we went through our production schedule, and it just it just didn't work out. But, you know, that's just kind of the way things go. You know, it wasn't a bad terms or anything like that. It just, it literally just didn't sync up this time. And we needed to move forward with the season. Um, so first and foremost, we definitely love everything that Stephanie brought to the Crimson Crane in Season 1 as the original Crimson Crane. But this season, the voice of the Crimson Crane will be Brandy Andrade. And uh, Brandy is an accomplished actress. I've known her for quite some time, worked with her on a couple of other projects over the years. And, uh, you know, her voice is a little bit similar to the Crane that you heard in the first season, but she's also bringing kind of her own stamp to it, and I think you'll like what you hear. Secondly, there is a teaser video that came out that announced when Season 2 was going to start, and that will be Monday, September 9th. will be the first episode of Season 2, and just like uh, last time, it'll be a weekly podcast, so it will uh, have Episode 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 out on Mondays. Finally, to wrap up today's update, I want to play the clip that was released yesterday. Uh, it is a clip, an action sequence from Episode 1, and I think you'll like what you hear. Uh, especially if you remember the end of season one when Rebecca and Doc are kind of walking away together and Doc says, I think you need a Jarvis, just like Iron Man. That's part of this scene. So if you think about Doc and some of the things that Doc does with his inventions that go right sometimes and not so right other times, they test that out in this uh, little action sequence from season two that you're about to hear. So in the meantime, feel free to visit thecrimsonfiles.com for other announcements. I'm also writing some production blogs there as well. And if you listen to Season 1 and you're about to check out Season 2, thank you so much for uh, listening and your support of the show. If you're just finding out about the show and you're going to listen to both, uh, welcome. It's exciting to have you here. A lot of work goes into this show, so um, listeners are very important to me and to the entire cast. So thank you so much. Here is a clip from Episode 1 of Season 2 of The Crimson Files. Back at their new and improved base of operations, Wyatt, Reggie, Doc, and Grandma Jeannie pick up the trouble on their police scanners because they're nosy like that. Crane, we have a maniac and a police chase on Henson Highway 13. We've got them on screen. The roads are full of maniacs. What makes this one so special? Well, for starters... Hey, you! Hey! Hey! Ah! He just blew through a construction zone. Oh my god, anyone hurt? Negative, it was mainly a lot of cones. Oh, I admit, I do hate it when they block off long sections of road just to do nothing. Or blocking a mile of road to do a small section of work. One time, I ran over a cone in protest. <laughs> I'm such a radical. Doc, I'm closing on the highway. What's my play here? Remember, I'm on my bike. I'm doing an analysis of the roads ahead. In the meantime, now would be a good time to let Jeeves help you. This is a high-risk situation. Are you sure you want to test Jeeves now? Jeeves should assist you with not only a game plan, but also help you avoid unnecessary risks. <sighs> Fine. Hey, Jeeves. Yes, my lady. I've got a reckless driver putting lives at stake on Highway 13. I'm closing in on him. What's your recommendation? Good Lord. Is he armed? I don't know. Right now, his truck is a weapon. Shall I do an analysis on how to defend yourself if he is armed with a banana? What? You must defend yourself and then eat the banana. What? Wait, Doc, why is Jeeves talking about defense against a banana? Oh my, I admit that might be a flaw. I'm still developing his AI, and I wanted to make sure I made him as British as possible. 
So it's pulling references from the internet for slang and other British references. It sounds like, in this case, he's accessing Monty Python. <sighs> Doc, I'm closing in on the truck. You better have something for me, and fast. Okay, Lady Crane. Reggie, start the broadcast. We're live. This is a Crimson Files live broadcast as we bring you full coverage of the Crimson Crane chasing a road rager on Henson Highway 13. She has just caught up to the police cars involved in the chase. There are several vehicles involved, and the risks are pretty high. Yeah, this chase is a lot faster than OJ and the white Bronco. Doc, I need real suggestions here. Okay, how about... Wait, someone wants to talk with you. Ugh, what? Rebecca, dear. Please be careful. Apparently, this maniac has blown out tires, rammed vehicles, and destroyed work zones. All because they were in his way. Seriously? How did he get to be king of the road? Probably by exploiting the workers and hanging on to an outdated imperialist dogma that- Oh, shut up. I say, I object to you automatically treating me as inferior. He just ran another person off the highway. He's on the access road now. Whoa, he just ran that light. Lady Crane, there is a red button on your dashboard. Hit it. It will activate the switch on your left hander. Okay. Get behind the truck. Leave about 15 feet between you and the vehicle. Closing in. Flip that switch. The seat will eject you forward. With your wings, you should easily land on the truck. What about the bike? Ah, that I hadn't thought about until now. Doc! Coming up with a plan B. There's no time. Can you trigger the ejection seat remotely? Yes, or you could trigger it from the control panel on your right bracer. It's Bluetooth synced. That'll do. Awesome. Wait, what are you planning to do? The crane is behind the truck, and she's reaching for something. I don't... She's got one of her baby birds. Like the exploding kind? She threw the baby bird under the truck. It exploded, lifting the back of the truck into the air, and she simultaneously rocket boosted off the bike. The bike shot under the truck, and now... The bike is riding under the truck! The bike is riding under the truck! (laughs) 